Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Miri and I give you guys an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you craft a snack, stay for a while and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. So you can tell by the title of the video, today we are going to test out Merit's new lipsticks. It is called the Signature Lip. It is supposed to be a light, weight lipstick that's sheer and has a satin finish so why don't i go ahead and get you on in closer so we can get these two shades on my lips and compare it to the lipstick that they kind of reminded me of All right guys, I want to say about a month ago, Merit did send me some of their products. I can test out the brand. Before they send the products, I have definitely been eyeing some of their makeup items. So when they contact me, I said, yes, please send me some stuff to try out. I did purchase the blush myself because when I had to choose the items I wanted them to send me, the blush was not an option. So I went ahead and purchased with my own money the blush. That video was not sponsored. They did send me the stuff, but I gave my 100% honest opinion on everything that I tested out. I still love some of the products. For today, I'm wearing the mascara and the brow gel. I definitely have been using their stuff still. So I think Merit is a really good rounded brand. It's not for everybody. It's definitely a quick and easy, my skin, but better type of brand. So for today, I decided to do a very natural look. I didn't do like a get ready with me because I kind of want this video to be quick. I just want to get to the point of the lipsticks. All right, so you can purchase these on the Merit website or you can purchase them at Sephora, which is where I purchased them. Oh yeah, by the way, these were not sent to me by them. I purchased them with my own money. They retail for $26. It's called the Signature Lip Lightweight Lipstick. It is described as a sheer lipstick with a satin finish and the benefits of a lip balm without the heaviness of a traditional lipstick. So I'm super excited to try them out. It's definitely the type of lipsticks that I am more attracted to right now all right guys here is the unicorn of the lipstick i really do like the aesthetics of the brand as a whole i think it's like a very just simple minimalist type of packaging which is what i like on here it says it has a 12 month shelf life i'm blind i think it is 12 oh my goodness <laughs> and they were made in Italy. All right guys, and here is what the packaging of the lipstick looks like. I think it is very pretty. It definitely gives you like a luxe type of feel to it. It's not lightweight, uh, but it's not heavy. I think it's a, it has a good weight to it. Definitely adds to the looks feeling of it. On the bottom, it does have the little logo, the Merit logo, which I think is pretty. This is how you open and it's not magnetic, but on the top is where it has the shade of the lipstick. I really do enjoy the packaging. I think the packaging is beautiful. They did a really good job. All right, so the two shades that I have here, and as you can see, the caps are the same. The component is the same for each shade. It doesn't change with like the shade of the lipstick. I got Tiger and Gabo. So we are going to try both of these on. All right, the first shade I'm trying is Gabo and it's described as a soft orange red. So this one is definitely out of my comfort zone, but this is such a beautiful shade. Do you see that? Let me go ahead and swatch this. Okay, there it is. That's what it looks like. Very pretty. Definitely feels sheer, like a lipstick hybrid with a lip balm. Let's try this out. Very comfortable. I have felt a formula like this before. I'm trying to think what it reminds me of. I cannot think of it. Very comfortable. Definitely a satin finish. 
How gorgeous is this shade? And, uh, super super comfortable does not feel like a lip balm i feel oh my gosh it's literally like a hybrid of a lipstick and a lip balm so here is gravel all right i did add a little bit of the melt cosmetics this is one of their new lip liners it's called the perfectionist lip this is in the shade cinnamon here is what it looks swatched next to the lipstick i added just a tiny bit i just kind of wanted to see what it looked like i don't have a lip liner to go with this color but i think this matches all right not bad Okay, let me go ahead and try on the next lipstick. All right, the next lipstick is in Tiger. And I actually picked this shade out because it reminds me of the Chanel lipstick that I recently tried out. So um, I'm gonna swatch them side by side to see if they are any similar. At least the color, the formula for sure they're not. Very, very pretty. Oh, this one's pretty. I don't know why I picked these shades because they're definitely kind of making me think of fall. The formula is very, very interesting. It's almost like whipped, but like glossy and balmy at the same time. Oh my gosh, it's driving me nuts because it reminds me of something that I have put on my mouth. I just cannot remember what the brand of the lip product that I used is. All right, and here is Tiger. All right, so I did go in with the shade Smooches in Christian Audet's lip liner. It's the collaboration they did with Mel Thompson. Here is the lip liner swatch right next to that lipstick. And it just added a tiny bit of dimension. The shade is kind of close to the lipstick itself, so it's not a lot, but I do feel like it added to it. Of course, normally I would do the lip liner first and then the lipstick, but I'm swatching these for you. Bare without a lip liner and then I'm adding it afterwards. This one is beautiful. Now for the lipstick that these new Merit lipsticks remind me of, and that is the Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet. It's part of the Comet collection, and this is in Terre des Etoiles. So with this lipstick, you do that. So the gold definitely reminds me of the gold in the Merit. For a second there, I thought that these clicked out as well, but also the little logo here. This also reminds me of the Merit. And you pull this out and here is the bullet. So this one is more of like a satin shade. It's not matte and it definitely is more lightweight. So not an exact match to this, but I can definitely see why it reminded me to this. I love this lipstick. The formula is beautiful. It is pretty pricey. All right, so this is the Chanel and this is the Merit. So as you could see, the bullets are very similar. They have a very similar shape and they both have the name right there. Can you see that? This is definitely, like they definitely remind me of each other. What do you guys think? <laughs> All right. Enough of that. So what do I think about these new Merit lipsticks? Um, I love the formula. I think the formula is really, really, really nice. It's so soft. It's not super lightweight. They're definitely a tiny bit more pigmented than I expected when I saw Sheer on there. But it's a beautiful, beautiful finish. 
feels comfortable to the lips. It definitely won't be a long lasting lipstick, but I feel like with anything that's not matte, that's kind of expected. So I definitely give two thumbs up to the formula itself. The packaging, I feel they did a really, really good job. It definitely gives you a small glimpse of a very luxurious experience. Um, the detail like this right here, the cap, I feel like they really wanted this product to be special over the other lipsticks that are being released. Packaging, I also think they did a very nice job. Pricing, $26 is a good decent price. I feel like Merit is kind of um, in the middle ground as far as like the affordable and high-end brand at Sephora because some of their products are pricey for what it is but I feel like $26 is a very decent in price especially because you do get a small luxe experience with the packaging and the formula and as you saw it looks similar to the Chanel bullet so I do feel like they did a good job with the pricing as well I think overall they did a great job they're making me want to go pick up more colors but the two that I picked absolutely love I mean look at these gorgeous I love Cabo, which is this one, and Tiger, which is this one. I feel like they complement my skin tone very, very well. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed these little slip swatches and comparison of the packaging with the Chanel lipstick. I'm telling you, when I first saw this announced, it it's the first thing that came to mind is that Chanel lipstick from the Comet collection. And you know what? I am just super stoked that I have these because they are so comfortable, so comfortable that I have a feeling I'm going to reach for them quite a bit. But I mean, look at this, gorgeous. Gorgeous. For the details on what else I'm wearing on my face, you guys already know it's going to be in the description box. If you're ever wondering, just go ahead and check on there. I always link the exact shade that I am wearing. I don't just link the product. I link the exact shade of what I am wearing in case you were ever wondering. Okay, but that's it. That concludes this uh, short little lip swatch party. Okay, on that note, I would love it if you gave this video a big old thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it and you would definitely help me out in the algorithm of hopefully bringing some new and fresh eyes to my channel. And if you haven't done so already, I would love it if you joined my small YouTube family by clicking the subscribe button. I would love to have you. All right, guys, I will see you on the next video.